In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create hexagon shape infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will come the first cube. As you can see here, I've added the title, the option, some icon and some detailed text here. When I click with a different color combination, it comes the second option, then comes the third option and you can see here it is filled with the hexagon shape. Then I've added some shadow effect here. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the shape hexagon select the shape and just click it here and you can rotate the shape by holding the alt and the right arrow key from the keyboard or you can just use these options also so i'm going to hold the alt key and then one two three four five six times i'm going to press the right arrow key and then i'm going to change the height to 1.56 and width to 1.56 8 all right and shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can make this a uh, kind of a black color all right then align center align middle then right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to give the transparency to maybe a 30 percent then later on uh, depending on the requirement we can increase or decrease this transparency so the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add three more hexagon shapes. To add the three more hexagon shapes, I'm going to select the shape, press Ctrl D to duplicate. Okay, Ctrl D to duplicate and then I'm going to change the color, the color which I like. Okay, the shape outline, make it no outline. Here also, I think I forgot to do the shape outline, no outline. All right. So now this particular shape, let me just zoom in a little bit and then i'm going to align the, with this one can you see here it is properly aligned here all right now i'm going to add one more shape by pressing ctrl d and this time i'm going to give the color kind of a uh, pink you can see here whichever color which you feel pink or red so i'm just going to select the pink one comes here make sure that it's properly aligned and I'm going to duplicate one more and I'm going to give the color as a kind of a teal color maybe it's the same teal color all right let me just put it exactly here zoom and then make sure that it is properly aligned all right so now I'm going to select this first second third except the black one and then send this to back so it looks something like this right the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more big hexagon shape to cover up uh, this one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is either I can just select this one and press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to shape fill. I'm going to give some uh, gray color again align center align middle then hold the Ctrl shift key together and just drag this one. Can you see here? All right, and then just align it properly. You can see here, and then send this to back. So our basic design is ready. As you can see here, our basic design is ready. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select this shape and press Control G to group it. And depending on the requirement, I can increase the size. So again, hold the Control Shift key together and just drag it the way you want. Maybe I need this much size. All right, so I can make it like this and then ungroup this one then this color this one and this one i'm going to remove the transparency it becomes a darker color all right the next step which i'm going to do now is you can see here the color is same here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into two parts uh, from the top actually and then i would like to give some darker tone here okay for that let me just select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color here and make sure that it is somewhat transparent and here i'm going to place it here exactly on top of this gold uh, hexagon shape okay you can see here make sure it is properly aligned 
all right and let me just duplicate this one so that i would like to do the same thing for this also so now i'm going to select the shape hold the shift key select this one go to the shape format merge shape and just say a fragment all right i'm going to delete this i don't need this one and you can see here it has become a separated here so press ctrl z again and then i'm going to give some darker color to it you can see here i have made some more darker color all right the same thing goes here also again i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to place it exactly on top of the pink one all right just make sure it is properly aligned and then select the shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape again fragment delete this part select this one and give some darker tone here you can see here it looks kind of a 3d effect now so now the same thing i'm going to do for this side here again make sure that it is properly aligned all right then again i'm going to select this shape first hold the shift key select this one then go to the shape format merge shape fragment and delete this one i don't need and for this i'm going to give somewhat darker color here all right so you can see here we have added uh, some darker shades okay the next thing which i would like to do is this particular black also i would like to cut this into three equal parts so then then only we can do the animation otherwise it's difficult for us to do the animation part so let me just select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here i'm going to give some different color all right and then i'm going to put it exactly here all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this shape and this one or let me just duplicate this once again for the future reference i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to select this shape again merge shape i'm going to select fragment and i'm going to delete this one now this becomes separated but this still remains same okay so now again i'm going to select this one i'm going to put it exactly here select this shape and then this shape merge shape again fragment and i'm going to delete this one now you can see here i've got separate separate and separate all right then this one it will be helpful for us to make the groupings all right so once this is done it's time to add the text so before adding the text i would like to group this one so i'm going to select these shapes you can see here this one only all right and press ctrl g to group it with the help of the mouse i'm going to select these options and press ctrl g there's one more here and then this is the last one press ctrl g and this is also one shape here so you can see here i have added three different cubes to make one hexagon shape all right so let's add the text here go to insert text box and here i'm going to type one center align maybe i'm going to use the font arial black which is more bigger okay and then change the color to white and put it here all right again if you want to change to give a kind of the perspective look for that you need to go to the text option there are two options here shape options is used only for the shapes or objects and for the text options we need to use for the text okay so go to the text options here and go to the text effects under 3d rotation from the presets maybe i can just choose any preset here maybe this isometric write up i think this is okay you can see here press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here i'm going to select this two again two is not properly aligned again go to the text options effects now this time i'm going to choose maybe this one i think this is okay you can see here and then press ctrl d for the third option let me just remove the guidelines here it's disturbing press control sorry i just uh, change to three and then the presets i'm going to choose maybe this one i don't think that is the right one i think this is okay right so one two and three then i'm going to 
add some icons here so go to insert icons uh, some random icons I'm going to choose but depending on the requirement you can choose the uh, the icons what is required okay so let me just select this one icon here the apple second icon and some kind of uh, maybe this icon click insert insert these options uh, sorry icons and then move these icons and change to maybe 0.6 all right and then i'm going to place one by one here this is one here maybe the apple goes here and this shutter camera shutter maybe goes here all right so now i'm going to select this one let me just see whether it can work or not using the format painter i'm going to click on this one i think it's not working so let me just do the same thing here so instead of uh, the text icons i'm going to the shape icons now okay so select this one go to the effects and the presets or oh, sorry under 3d rotation presets i'm going to choose this one you can see here if you want you can increase the size or if you want you can just add it on the top also wherever required maybe the size is, is, is small so i'm going to make it as one okay i think this one looks good and the color i'm going to make this as white all right the same thing i'm going to choose and i'm going to make bigger ones so now i'm going to choose this one and here again i'm going to choose the one which we have added uh, i believe uh, this one yes all right and for this either you can place it here or here it's up to you again for this one uh, could be like this all right now for again for this one i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key this and this and press ctrl g to group it again select this one this one ctrl g this this and this ctrl g and make sure that the font i'm going to use as the, the sorry fill color i'm going to use as white all right so you can see here we have we have made three different uh, uh, these cube shapes and it becomes one in, in the form of hexagon now it's time to add some detailed text so go to insert text box i'll say equals lorem within brackets and i'm i don't want this much large text so i'm going to delete it okay few of the text i'm going to give as a gray color here right aligned reduce the font size and this text for this one all right so let me just align it properly i think this is okay press ctrl d to duplicate this comes here this will be left aligned and i'm going to add one more at the bottom and this one comes here i'll make it a center aligned here if you want you can just keep it here here or anywhere okay like this so you can see here the design is almost ready and it's time for us to add some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this freeform shape and i'm going to click here one 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 here and i'm going to join it it looks something like this shape outline make it no outline and then send this to back all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use some a gradient fill here all right select the gradient fill i'm going to use two colors one is black and one is white and the direction you can choose any direction maybe this one all right and this one i'm going to increase the transparency and this one is all 100 percent you can see here and then again let me just put like this and then i can just right mouse click edit point i can just edit it the way i want okay you can see here i'm just editing it all right again you can go to the soft edges here effects soft edges and increase the soft edges you can see here i've added this also and then send this to back so our design is ready it's time to do the animation all right so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this one this one and this one 
I'm going to select the animation fly in and then right mouse click effect options I'm going to increase the bounce end you can see here all right and the timings depending on the requirement if you want you can make it more faster maybe 0 0.3 but I'm going to keep 0 0.5 only click OK and this one all those things should happen on click and this one I'm going to select this should come from the top left it comes like this this should come from the top right and this should come from the bottom which is okay all right so if i play it comes one two and three you can see here once this is done you can select the text and add animation more entrance effects i'm going to select the stretch click okay so this one should go after the first one after previous this should go after the second one after previous and this one is anyway after previous after third after previous okay once that is done i'm going to select this shape and i'm going to make it fade should happen after previous and then the shadow also i'm going to make it fade should happen with previous so let me just play now my first option second option third option and then you can see the shadow color here.